better, but I need more. <laughs> All right, we're going to focus this morning for a little bit. You remember, I talked about capacity and your ability to deal with stress basically is a formula that we only get stressed when our capacity gets overwhelmed. So there's a couple ways to work on that. We can reduce the stressors and we can up our capacity. And I said your capacity comes from your physical makeup, your brain, your body, how well you're taking care of that. It comes from your spiritual and mental and emotional makeup, the software, how well you're taking care of that. But I said basically both of those depend on the third part of what makes you up. And that's your relational life. We don't exist in a vacuum. We're always connected some way to somebody or some bodies, and that's going to fill it out. So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about your connected life, and I want to leave you with the tool. You know, when they go to preacher school, which I didn't go to, obviously, they teach them, whenever you preach, you got to tell them what you're going to tell them, and then you got to tell them, and then you got to tell them what you told them. So let me tell you what I'm going to tell you this morning. I'm going to tell you that there are only four possibilities of where you can be at any moment in your life. I want to give you a map of your relational, your connected universe, and that will have more to do with your stress capacity than anything else in life. So I'm going to give you a map, and I call this the map, the four corners of the universe because we can only be in one of these places did you know that you are somewhere <laughs> you ever think about that you know we, we, we do this unconsciously we, we go to a restaurant and sit down had not seen you put a schedule down. together right it's not just trying to put together what you need to do if you put your schedule together right it determines who you become so if you want to become a corner four person, you have to have some stuff in your schedule on a week to week basis that heads you that way. If you want to become a person who, who understands and believes and is moved by the, the word of God, then 15 minutes a day in your chair, right? Chair time, 15 minutes. If you want to become a relationally adept person, you have to have a time when your small group meets, when you're, again, accountability group meets or whatever. If you want to become psychologically whole, you probably have to go see a counselor every once in a while. But in a, on a consistent basis, that's how you build a life. That's how you build the future. Church should be in ink every week. Not just for you, but for your kids and the example it sets for your grandkids and all that. The things you put in ink on your schedule, for the most part, determines who and what kind of person you're going to become, as Henry said a year from now. Can we thank Henry yet again? For <laughs> Henry, Henry, the, one, the one thing that I've taken away more than anything else from the, the, the two weekends here came last weekend for me is when Henry said, every new situation or cause or circumstance of stress, every new experience of stress you have is actually an opportunity for surrender. Every new stress that comes your way is an opportunity for surrender in some new way. That's helped me all this past week with the summit. That thing looked like it was a freight train and every time I started to get stressed about it, I said, now I just have to see this as an opportunity to surrender myself afresh to God. It's his event, it's his power, it's his thing. And it helped me this week. Some of this will be helpful for you as well. Let's, let's pray. God, we had a terrific time here. We heard beautiful music. We had the sacrament of communion, which reminds us that we have been set free. We have been made clean through the work of Christ on the cross. Now we've got all kinds of tremendous ideas about what corner we want to live in and what kind of life, what kind of path we want to head down, what we need to do 
to be different a year from now than we are today. So now, God, give us the courage to take the steps that have been outlined for us so that we can reflect Jesus Christ in a winsome and powerful way in this world. We pray this for Christ's sake. Everyone agreed and said? Amen. 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 Blessings, everybody. Bob's off next week.